disconnect the inlet T-joint of the pressure nozzle with the pipe. Remove the fixing screws. Take off the nozzle holder. Disassemble the connector fixing base under arm number 4. Fix the fixing board to the previous connector base position, which is under arm number 4. Pass the cable tie through the hole. Fix the motor connector and wires with the cable tie after the PLUL module is installed. Tighten the screws. Remove the pipe from the nozzle. Install the anti-drip device to the nozzle and pay attention to the arrow on it. Connect the pipe to the nozzle. Remove the fixing screws on the bottom cover of the motor base. Remove the fixing block. Fix the bottom nozzle fixing clip to the nozzle holder with M3 multiple 10 screws. The nozzle holder should be installed vertically downward. The side with the connector should face the motor. Fix the centrifugal nozzle 5 cm to the motor. Fix the nozzle with the upper nozzle fixing clip. Connect the outlet pipe of the pump to the inlet of the anti-drip device. Both ends of the anti-drip device should be fully inserted. Remove the fixing screws of motor number 2, 3, 5 and 6. Remove the cover. Insert two front adapter cables longer into the arm number 2 and 6 front arms separately. Insert two rear adapter cables shorter into the arm number 3 and 5 rear arms separately. Take the adapter cable installation of arm number 3 as an example. Insert the white labeled end through the threading hole under arm number 3 and pull out from the bottom of number 3 motor base. Install the bottom cover of the motor base. Tighten the screws. Plug in and twist to tighten the adapter cable and the centrifugal nozzle. Note: Check the slot before connecting the cable. Connect the white labeled cable to corresponding cable on the PLUL module. Install the adapter cable on the arm number 5 in the same way. Take the adapter cable installation of arm number 6 as an example. Insert the white labeled end of the front adapter cable through the threading hole under arm number 6. Remove the screws and remove the component. Insert the adapter cable through the other side of the frame and out from the threading hole under arm number 5. Connect the white labeled cable to the corresponding cable on the PLUL module. Fix the wires with the cable tie. Assemble the component. Tighten the screws. Insert the adapter cable through arm number 6 and out from the threading hole under the number 6 motor base. Install the bottom cover of the motor base. Tighten the screws. Plug in and twist to tighten the adapter cable and the centrifugal nozzle. Install the adapter cable on the arm number 2 in the same way. After install the adapter cable, connect the plug on the PLUL module to the plug for spreader. Fix the remaining wires or cables with cable ties after the installation. Remove the middle pipe from the 5-way joint and plug in the quick plug. Boot up the remote controller and the centrifugal spraying system. Click the extension bar in the Agriculture Assistant app. Change the operation mode to centrifugal spraying system in the spraying interface. Set the parameter and adjust the flow rate. Set the atomizer. At the same flow rate, the higher the speed, the smaller the droplet diameter. Click Start to start the test. Click Dosage per move. Set the operating parameter. Set the parameters according to the actual situation. Start the operation. If the liquid in the tank has been drained out during the operation, the pump may not be able to work properly. Please evacuate the air in the pump inlet. Here are the steps. 
Unplug the pipe at the pump outlet. Press the spray button on the RC. When the liquid is pumped in, press the spray button again to stop the pump. Connect the two pipes to the two-way joint. The pump pressure relief is completed.